Hey everyone, welcome to my tutorial on how to make bush tea, right from the garden. Um, if you guys want to stay tuned, I will show you guys how I prune my garden and then harvest what I need to make bush tea. So, stick around. So here I am removing dead leaves, all the ones that are dried up and they just look really sad. And so when you prune them, it helps your garden be happier, healthier. All the nutrients go towards parts of the plant that are going to do well. And so that's the goal here. I went inside, grabbed some gloves and something to put, um, Whatever I harvest, I'm gonna put it in here. So take, I'm probably gonna cut a bunch of this off because um, this mint looks really overgrown and I like to put um, a lot, a lot of mint in my bush tea. Um, yeah, we'll take some of that. Bush tea um, is a recipe that my uh, gardening friend shared with me and it's a Caribbean home remedy for you know sickness so let me start harvesting some of these leafy greens i'm gonna come here and get some thai basil and sweet italian uh, basil to add to my bush tea so a little tip um, when basil reaches six inches or higher you could just it's called topping it off and you can just snip it and it'll just keep growing and it'll be fine. And actually it's good to do that. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. Let me see if I can show you. So like right here, you just snap it. That will go in the bush tea. And you just kinda give them a little trim. But here's what I have right now. Um, and this is what I will be putting in my bush tea. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good rinse before I start making the tea. So guys, I have my um, herbs, leafy greens, soaking in a big thing of, like a big bowl of water. And I added a little bit of salt and white vinegar to get all the gunk and like any, any debris or any bugs that might be in there um, that helps get them out. Hey you guys, I have the bush tea on the stove right now. I put eight cups of water. Um, and I put it on high and you, so there is no, um, hard rule about bush tea. I like to boil this until the water, um, turns to a darker color. You can stop this whenever you prefer. Um, but yes, definitely bring it to a boil. So I'm going to put this lid on top and come back to it in a little and as we continue to wait, I just wanted to do a quick Google search on Caribbean bush tea. And I found a lot of great articles talking about this amazing tea. So other teas capitalize on the abundance of fresh herbs available throughout the Caribbean. A few leaves of mint, lemongrass, vervain, or basil topped off with a little honey are light and refreshing and thought to keep fevers and colds at bay. Is the color that I like my bush tea to be. And I have my mug here, the Golden Gardener, which I love because everything that I used for my bush tea today came from my own garden. So I am going to strain the tea with this. Let's see if I can do this without spilling. Yeah, this is the color that I usually strive for. Okay, just sweetening it up with just a little bit of honey. And there you have it. Bush tea. Thanks for watching.